Robert went to his friend's house that was one kilometer away from his house. When he left his house, he started jogging toward his friend's house, and then he walked the rest of the way. He jogged twice as far. He jogged twice as far as he walked. How far did he walk? Write the answer in meters. So let's just take it step by step. Let's just think about first the distance that he jogged. So let's say that this right over here is the distance that he jogged. Now he walked half of this distance. So if you were to divide this distance in two, and then, and then take half of this, so this is the distance that he would have walked. So if this green is the total distance that he jogged, he then walked half of that. He then walked another half of that. And you see, based on how I drew it, so let me make it very clear, this green section, color changing is always difficult, this green section right over here is how far he jogged. That is jogged. And this white section is how far he walked. So that is how far he walked. Now, if you look at this, and knowing that this white section is half of this green section, you see that we, the total distance has essentially been divided into thirds, where he has jogged 2 thirds of the distance. So the jogged is 2 thirds of the distance. And then he walked 1 third of the distance. He walked 1 third of the distance. And this is consistent with what's written here, because 1 third is half of 2 thirds, or 2 thirds is twice as far as 1 third. Now what is the total distance? Well, they tell us that it is they tell us that it is one kilometer. So this total distance right over here is one kilometer. One kilometer. But then they want us to write the answer in meters. So let, instead of thinking in terms of kilometers, let's think in terms of meters. We know that the prefix kilo means 1,000. So this literally means 1,000 meters. This is 1,000 1, meters. So if you want to know how far did Robert walk, well, he, wor he walked one thousand. He walked one third of the distance, and the total distance was one thousand meters. So, how far did he walk? He walked one third of one thousand meters. One third of one thousand, one thousand meters. And so, what's one third of one thousand meters? Well, there's a couple of ways that you could think about that. You could think of that as one third times a thousand. One third times a thousand which would be equal to 1,000 thirds, 1,000 thirds, 1,000 thirds. If you have 1 third, and you, or you have 1,000 thirds, that literally could be represented as 1,000 thirds, just like this. And this could also be viewed as 1,000 divided by 3. Or if you're trying to find 1, th one third of 1,000, you could say, well, let me just divide this by 3, and that's going to be the distance. So let's divide 1,000 by 3. So if you have 1,000, and you were to divide by 3, 3 goes into 10 three times. 3 times 3 is 9. You subtract, you get a 1, bring down a 0. 3 goes into 10 three times. 3 times 3 is 9. You subtract, get a 1, bring down this last 0. And so 3 goes into 10 three times. 3 times 3 is 9. And you subtract, and you have 1 left over. So you could say, oh, well, this is 333 remainder 1. Or you could say this is 333 and 1 divided by 3 left over, or 333 and 1 third. So let me write that. This is equal to 333 and 1 third. So this is equal to 333 and 1 third meters. So that's how far he walked in meters. If you were to keep, well, I'll just leave it at that.